Mokosh, also called Mokos, was worshipped by the ancient Slavs as the goddess of the earth and fertility. Mokosh is the goddess who gives and takes life, spinner of the thread of life, giver of the water of life, fertility, and health in marriage. She is most likely a later and more strongly personified variant of the Slavs' elder earth goddess, the damp mother earth goddess. Mokosh assumed a broad range of divine roles, however, she was first and foremost a symbol of the earth's fertility. During the early spring, it was taboo to spit on, or strike the ground, since Mokosh was said to be pregnant that time of year. Festivals were dedicated to her in the autumn, after the harvest. The belief that Mokosh blessed the earth with divinity was reflected in peasant practices that in some parts of Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus persisted into the 19th century, which consisted of the swallowing of a lump of soil to consecrate wedding vows, the placing of earth upon one's head to seal oaths, and the confession of one's sins to a hole in the ground instead of a priest. Over time, Mokosh became a patron of women, especially those bearing children or giving birth. She oversaw women's work, such as spinning and weaving. She was also thought to protect flocks of sheep. The strength of her cult remained substantial, even after the Christianization of the Slavs. In northern Russia, she has survived as a house spirit known as Mokosha, or Mokosha, who was personified as a tall woman with a large head and long arms. There is a particular link between Mokosh and the Sajage, who were the givers of judgment or sentence. Mokosh would spin her spinning wheel and string together to make the cloth of the Sadbina, which was the judgment cloth. Some stories tell us that as humans walked the earth and they transgressed, treating the earth with no respect or consideration. Their fate was set, however, if humanity was kind to nature, treasured the livestock they kept, and valued the rivers and the forests, even if they transgressed, the weaving cloth would record everything, which would change their ultimate fate. Mokosh would weave the future judgment of all humans however, as Mokosh was a benevolent divine being, she would also come to help them find their way before the Sajage came to collect the final threads of every person's cloth. In many folk tales, she is the wife of Peran and mother of Marana, Devana and Jurilo. As is true in many countries, where reconstructionist paganism is blossoming, there is currently a significant revival of pre-Christian spirituality and folk traditions in the lands that were formerly dominated by the Soviet Union. Hence, her presence is being remembered and honored openly once more.